Hey Chemistry, Mrs. KJ here going over 4.02 pH indicators. Take notes. How do we measure the strength of acids and bases? Well remember in our notes we have acids are less than 7 or 0 to 6.99999. Bases, the pH is anything bigger than 7 all the way up to what? To 14 or we would just say greater than 7. If it's exactly 7 it's neutral, neither acid or base. So what is pH? Not correct. Percentage of hydrogen. But a better way to think of it is portion of hydrogen. So, you know, honestly, sometimes I do think of it like what percent is hydrogen or what portion is hydrogen? Because that kind of helps us remember that when you have a lot of the hydrogen, if we just have hydrogen, is that an acid or a base? If it starts with an H, it is an acid. What do bases usually end with in their chemical formula? OH or hydroxide. So I think about how much H does it have. If it has a lot, it's a really strong acid. If it has just a little, it's a weak acid. If I have a lot of OH instead, then we get into the bases. So technically, it's the concentration of hydrogen. And specifically, not just hydrogens, but also the hydrogen ions. So I think of the P as percent, just so I remember. But the H definitely stands for hydrogen, which is why it's capitalized. In chemistry class, H plus is the hydrogen ion. And these two brackets, okay, those two brackets which are right next to the letter P on your keyboard, these brackets stand for concentration of. So instead of writing all this, in chemistry we just write this and it means the exact same thing. Concentration of hydrogen ions. For example, my concentration of hydrogen ions could be 0 0.001 molar. That's right, stuff from last unit. So, each level of pH is a factor of 10, not just one more. What do I mean by that? Think of losing $10 versus losing a $100 bill. Okay, that's a huge difference. That's a factor of 10. So, if my concentration of hydrogen ions equals 0.1 molar, That'd be like a dime. My concentration of hydrogen ions equals 0 0.0 molar. That'd be like a penny. So again, powers of 10. So if my concentration is 0.1, my pH is 1. My concentration is 0.01, my pH is 2. My concentration of hydrogen ions is 0 0.001, my pH is 3. So you can see how they're factors of 10. And the concentration of hydrogen ions is 0 0.0001 molar and that gives me a pH of 4 and it keeps going from there. Indicator. An indicator is a substance that changes color to show the pH of a solution. Some common indicators are litmus paper. So litmus papers turn b -b -b blue if it's a b -b base. Like over here. They kind of start out like a purplish. And then if you dip it in acid it turns red. There's another indicator called universal indicator, which changes to pretty much all the colors of the rainbow. It's actually really pretty. But again, b -b -b bases are b -b blue. Here's the one exception. Phenolphthalein or phenolphthalene um, only turns pink if it's what? So let's look at this. Here's our pH, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It only turns pink if it's a base. And the 8 is just barely pink. You might not be able to see it on your computer screen resolution, but it is. It's just a tiny bit pink. So it stays clear in neutral and in acids. All right. You know what? That's it for this lesson. Um, but there is an indicator lab for you to do. So I just want to quickly show a little bit about that. And if I can move it over. So I have the directions typed out on the sheet, but you have a beaker and you need to drag it and drop it. And we're going to add five drops. Oops, six. Uh-oh. So if you mess up, you can start over. Um, and then when you have the right amount in there, you drag it over to here. You pick up one of these and drag it up there. And then you wait for the timer. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And then it raises it up here. And now you can drag it to find the right color. 
and then oops when you drag it in that target it drops it down here and I don't think you can pick it back up again so be careful. It says to empty the beaker you're not going to do that because when you read the directions it talks about how we're just going to keep adding more and more and more drops to it. So that's it go ahead and do the indicator lab.